Hey everybody! Today I am working on a 12 by 16 canvas. The colors that I am using, I've got orange, black, and white. The orange is from the Fine Touch and it's orange yellow. My black and white are both Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. And I went ahead and put in um, three in one silicone in each. I think I put three drops in there and maybe four in that one. There's a little bit more. Um, all my all my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. And then I did put some pouring medium in there, a good squeeze in each one. So what I plan on doing is a swipe today probably using the airbrush also because you know that's my favorite thing so I'm gonna start with white down the middle and yes I did put silicone in all colors just to make sure some people don't put anything in their swipe color and I do because I don't it doesn't make a difference to me
Hello guys, I am back to show you my painting all finished. I um, embellished it a little bit and um, put this Harley motorcycle sticker on it. It's actually for my husband's uh, birthday. And so I sealed it. Of course, I waited about four weeks and sealed it. And the seal that I use is um, the Windsor and Newton and it's the um, professional gloss varnish and I put a couple coats on it first and then I went ahead and put the sticker I, I didn't want it to like take over the painting so I just put a small one there and then I actually put um, two more coats over it I lightly sprayed this area and then I put another you know good coat over top so I just wanted to show you a little bit how cool it looks. All right, so now what I'm going to do is finish the back. Um, I've already got my paper cut, just measured it with my little tape measure. And the paper that I am using, it comes in a roll. This is the um, wrapper that um, it comes on or that it comes in and then it's just a, a roll of brown paper and I think I got that from Hobby Lobby and then I am going to be using um, scotch double-sided tape and I got that from Amazon and before I um, got that done what I did was I took a sanding block and just kind of went around the edges because sometimes when my um, paint uh, painting is drying my rack where it drips it will stick and then it will cause like bumps right along here um, so I wanted to make those not so bumpy and so it's easier for the tape to stick so what I'm going to do is flip it over I'm just going to get my tape on there stick it close to the edge there make sure it's kind of hard to work with sometimes because it comes up on, comes off of there Hold it down. Okay, and then I'm just gonna trim that little bit right there. So now I've got all the whole, all around the edges taped, and then I'm just going to take my paper. Just give it a little press all the way around to make sure that it's stuck really good. Got a little crinkle right there, but I'm 
for night. Alright guys, so now I'm going to attach the D-rings and the wire to the back so it can be hung on a wall. So I'm just going to flip it over. And I made, I measured um, a quarter of the way down, actually a third of the way down, sorry. Um, I just put little notches there. And then I just have my little D-rings and they are just a single, a single hole D-ring is all those, all they are. And I bought them in a package. I actually, the package I got had two gold and silver. And then the wire that I'm using is a um, 100 foot wire that I bought and it holds um, up to 30 pounds, it says. It's braided wire, so it's a little extra strong. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my D-ring and I'm going to put it by where my line is and then try to find kind of the middle, kind of so this, the ends kind of hang off, or the, the ring part kind of hangs at the end. And then just get my screw in there. Try to get, yeah, it's a little bit difficult. And make sure that your um, screws are not going to go through your canvas. You want to make sure that you don't have too long <laughs> of screws. Now, if you have a thicker canvas, then of course you can use a longer screw. Makes sense, huh? <laughs> so, we'll just put that there. And it's not too hard. You just apply a little bit of pressure. And... There. There. It's a little bit tighter. This one's a little bit tighter. There we go. All right. And then what I did with my wire is I measured it across and then added a couple inches. Because with the braided wire, you can see it's, you know, about three or four wires obviously braided together. That's why it's called braided wire. Um, if it was a single wire, I would double it for sure, um, just to make sure that it's extra strong. So you kind of want to pull it a little tight, not, not too tight because you want a little bit of a give. And then and just wrap it, wrap it around there. Oops, that end came out. I'm saying with this, like not too tight, but not loose. If that makes sense. <laughs> And you, you can probably cut those. You don't have to have them that long if you don't don't want them that long. But there you go. You see, it's there's a little bit of give. That way, you know, it's got it's not too not pulling too too tight. Anyway, so there it is. It's all done and ready to be hung on the wall. And hopefully, my husband will like his birthday present. I think it turned out really really cool. And um, hopefully he will think it's cool too. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe.